Hey, what's up? This is Craig. Check out Top Team Leonardo DiCaprio performances. Seven minutes long from WatchMojo.com. I think what's eating Gilbert Great Man was probably his best performance in my opinion. I feel like he just, he did that so well, man. And the Django too. I feel like right now he's the top actor when it comes to consistency and also picking the right movie roles. All his movies have been like great. No, not just his performance, but the movie as well. A lot of times actors, you know, their performances are good, but they're in movies that, you know, were, eh. But yeah, wife. When was the first time you saw Leonardo DiCaprio? Um, Growing Pains on Disney Channel. What's that? Man, Growing Pains. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I never seen Growing Pains. So Growing Pains. So wait a minute. So Leonardo came from Disney Channel? Yeah. Oh, I hate the Disney Channel, man. I love Disney. Really? I did okay. not know that. Well, I don't know if that's where he started. Well, that's why I originally started watching. It was basically about this family. Mm -hmm. Uh, there was a very nice family, and I believe he was. I believe they adopted him into their family. Well, go. So, was Disney Channel focused so so heavily focused on comedy back then, like they are now? Or was it? Cause it seemed like that. I don't they had think good, either. genuine shows I like uh, Baby Sutter's Club. No. You, did you watch like? Teach you Friday, like Friday night where Family Matters came on, Step by Step. I watched Family Matters. That's it. I was all you about watch Step by Step. No, I was all about Nickelodeon and uh, Cartoon Network. Back, back to Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, I really what, what, enjoyed him first, with Titanic. That's the first time you saw him, Titanic? No, the first time I saw him was Growing Pains when he was a child. Oh, I mean, like, movie-wise. Um, movie-wise, I think Titanic, yeah. I can't Probably think of Titanic anything else too. that I've liked to me. I remember watching that movie with my, my parents, so I tell you, and they remember they had this, this sex scene in the car, what it was in the car? No, on the boat. Yeah, I, the movie takes place. I on know, the but there was in the car in the boat. There was something in the boat, and she put her hand up on the glass because it was getting on. And I remember I asked my parents, like, I was like, "What they doing?" <laughs> <laughs> you would be the kid uh, to ask what they doing. I, I, don't, I, don't, I forgot my mom was Because normal kids would just assume and know what they doing and would not ask. I think you would ask. I didn't know what it was doing at the time. Uh, that was that's how young. I didn't know what it was doing. I think my mom said it was wrestling. So. This is also the child whose mom took him to I, the movies I, and I heard him say. And then you kept calling everybody. Yeah, we want to go. See, <laughs> we want to go see Chucky. We want to go see Chucky. Uh, the first Chucky, and I called my cousin. You have to bleep out. I called my cousin the B word. <laughs> I don't even remember doing that. That's just bad. I want to go see Chucky too. I don't. So even, and I don't. Know. And I don't even like. I don't have nightmares of that movie or anything. I don't. I don't even remember. Because you probably won't pay attention to it. Your mom probably had your snacks and toys and. <laughs> probably. Yeah. See, that's why I'm a movie holic. Like I've been kids. in the theater my whole life. That's funny. All right, well, let's check this out. <laughs> <laughs> you want you to watch it? I got, I'm, I'm sitting here now. All right. Turn it down. It's so blurry for me. Scandi, it's time this generation learned my side of the story. This actor is much more than just a pretty face. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our great. top 10 favorite Leonardo DiCaprio performances. I never seen that. I Number 10, it, but I can't. King Louis XIV, Philippe, the man in the iron mask. Kicking off our list is the film that gives us two Leos for the price of one. This movie has DiCaprio playing two radically different characters simultaneously. And by convincingly portraying a pair of identical twins, he makes us both love and loathe him. As for you, my brother, back to the prison you shall go, and into the mask you hate. No, Wear it until you love it! It's hard not to sympathize with you the hearted boy who's forced into solitary confinement, but it's equally hard not to detest the egomaniacal, womanizing tyrant. I'm hungry. Oh, i seen that before. Cause he had, he had to wear a mask in the movie. I saw that once. I can't remember if it was, I think it was in class. <laughs> You watch this in like class? I saw it somewhere. <laughs> no, I don't think it was in class. By the way, you'll be leaving tomorrow. Number nine. Yeah. Jack Dawson, Titanic. There you go. We would not have let Jack drown. Kidding aside, next up is the largest. I know that movie made me so mad. Cause I'm, life ship that Good. Cause I'm like, why he just get on the thing with her? La duh. In the room. It was room. Somebody better let him top of somebody. 
Without strong acting, this film would have sunk to the depths like its namesake in an ocean full of special effects. Number eight, Romeo Montague, Romeo and Juliet. I saw that in class. It's soft. That's a good movie. Like this is the role that made Leo a Hollywood sex symbol a full year before he boarded the RMS Titanic. Playing the most romantic figure of all time, DiCaprio props up this modern retelling of the beloved Shakespeare classic by doing what he does best, keeping female viewers in trance with his swoon-worthy delivery of iconic lines, especially while clad in shining armor. My lips, two blushing pilgrims may stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Good pilgrim. You do wrong your hand too much. You seen that Number seven, J. Edgar Hoover, J. Edgar. I didn't see that. Many were surprised when DiCaprio was cast as famed FBI director J. Edgar Hoover. Ignoring their physical differences, Hoover was uncharismatic and guarded, which makes Leo's subtle performance in this Clint Eastwood biopic that much more inspired. I, 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 I gained a reputation for, for delivering groceries when I was 10 years old. I was the fastest in the neighborhood. It was just a, a, a nickname. His talent shines through makeup, false teeth, toupees, dental implants, and prosthetics that take him from age 36 to 77. And while the film earned mixed reviews, DiCaprio's work garnered him a Golden Globe nomination. Makes it easy. He's gonna come for it all. He'll crucify me in my bureau. No, he won for The Revenant, five, Golden five, Globe. Oh, really? Number six. Mm -hmm. Frank Abagnale Jr. Are you a movie? Oh, I do like that movie too. I love I'd that like movie. To take you out for a steak That's probably my favorite <laughs> movie of Taking his. Full advantage of Leo's charm and dashing good looks. This film features our baby-faced 28-year-old star as a 16-year-old identity-stealing rascal. <laughs> Even beside acting greats like Tom Hanks and Christopher Walken, DiCaprio steals the show. Is that the truth? He easily brings the real-life adventures of this teenage thief to the big screen and oozes confidence and magnetism every step of the way. Dr. Harris. Yes? Do you concur? Number five. William Billy Costigan. The Jr. Departed. The Departed. As the central focus of this masterful Martin Scorsese ensemble cast, DiCaprio takes on the role of an undercover cop who attempts to infiltrate the Irish mob. The result is a dramatic tour de force, where DiCaprio struggles with a deadly situation that is spiraling out of his control. No! Are you still a cop? No! Arguably the most mature role of his Who career, it also allows Leo to have a never-before-seen grip oh. to the street persona, included. Two pills? Great. Why don't you just give me a bottle of scotch and a handgun to blow my head off. Are we done here with this psychiatry bullshit? You know what? You what can the f did I just put myself through? I'm f out of here. And what if that was a legitimate threat? Think about it. Number four. Danny Archer. Oh, Blood Diamond. Diamond. I forgot about Blood Diamond. 2006 saw DiCaprio I love that movie. even grittier performance in this film, and for his trouble, he earned an Oscar nod. His part as a Zimbabwean mercenary involved in a Good diamond view, industry eh? conflict seems far mm. removed from his other roles, but it's similar in that the character openly struggles with his inner demons and allows DiCaprio to demonstrate his dramatic skills. Most memorable of all was his mastery of the incredibly difficult South African accent. <laughs> no, it all takes getting used to. <laughs> Number three, Jim Carroll, The Basketball Diaries. Basketball Diaries. Too bad, Father. I was just starting to enjoy myself. This demanding role gives us an early glimpse of the star's talent. Based on Jim Carroll's autobiographical novel, no, the movie has Leo that. in the lead as the most talented member of a basketball team who gets sucked into a world of addiction and prostitution. Though the film was treated harshly after its release, it shows us just how willing and able DiCaprio is to take his characters to exceptionally dark places. Just let me get out of my face. Easy, you can't blame me if you try. Number two, Howard Hughes, Aviator. Aviator. I haven't seen that movie. There, still call me you. You tell him it's Mr. Hughes now. This Scorsese biopic truly sees DiCaprio transform into the infamously off-balance, speed-talking aviation visionary who suffers from obsessive-compulsive disorder. He brings passion to his representation of this powerful, mustache-wearing Houston native 
and conveys the real-life billionaire's aging process in both tone and evolving maturity. The result was a well-earned Academy Award nomination for Best yeah, Actor, true story. since Leo managed to grip his audience and never let go. I think. I don't have any shoes. Number one, Arnie Gray. Yeah. What's Ian Gilbert Gray? <laughs> Taking the top spot on our list is DiCaprio's career-defining and spectacularly convincing role as a mentally disabled child. Fresh off his days on Growing Pains, DiCaprio uses believable mannerisms and his ability to make a character both lovable and genuine to earn the first Oscar nomination of his career. Thanks to this heartbreaking performance, Leo proved he'd be a presence around Hollywood for years to come. Mama, stop it now! Do you agree with our list? Which of Leo's movie roles is your favorite? For more entertaining top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Which one you like? Hey, lady, shut up! The ribbon is gonna be. Oh, I'm about to cut it off. The ribbon is gonna be up there. Probably gonna be number one because he's gonna win the Oscar for it. He's gotta win the Oscar for it. If he don't win the Oscar this year, I mean, it's gonna be like, okay. Uh, what do you think about the list? You agree with the order? Um, I really don't have any choice but to agree with the order so because haven't I haven't really seen of many of them. Um, <laughs> Which one you did see? Um, Titanic, uh, Catch Me, not Catch Me, Catch Yeah, Catch Me if you can. And, um, I think. um, that's it, right? No, it was not long. Oh, it was Blood Diamonds. Yeah, okay. My list, I would have had, I don't know why Django won up there. I thought that was a great performance. I don't, I can't make the top 10, but my top five would be, number four, five would be, mm -hmm. um, Catch Me If You Can. Mm -hmm. This one would be uh, Romeo and Juliet. Number three. Oh, <clears throat> Blood Diamond, the Django was eating Gilbert Grape. That would be my top five. The other ones I don't know about. Uh, Titanic would be number 10. No comment? Mm -mm. Cool beans. But yeah, this was a request. Nice request, my friend. Thanks for the support, everybody out there in the world. This is Craig. That Craig. Say your name, baby. And Mika. That Mika. <laughs> Comment, share, subscribe, always. <clears throat> Away from me with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, this is this. So can I go? Hey, get what's something? up? This is Craig. So can I go get something to eat? That Craig. And come back to the house, or do I need to just?